In this review, we're going to be looking at any leads. Any leads has many white label variations as well. For example, IC leads. We can confirm that IC leads and any leads are the same platform by comparing the pricing as well as just clicking the support icon. You can see that it's the exact same teams. Since any leads is the core product, our review will focus on this. Most relevant to us is the B2C local businesses. Let's perform a search. With any leads, you can't just view all of the leads in one go. Each lead needs to be manually saved at which point you might receive an email address. There seems to be a lot of false positives. So for example, five at .w is not really a valid email address. Similarly, username at example.com isn't valid either. There isn't too much information provided about the business. So for example, you can't see the social profiles, you can't see information about the website, such as whether it has SEO issues or is mobile responsive. And there's a ton of other integral data that's missing. Let's use their automation feature to save the leads. So as we can see, the query took roughly 56 minutes. Let's download the results. So from the results, we can see that email addresses were captured for 130 businesses. We deduct one to account for the titles row. Any leads captured the reviews, ratings, captured the tags, Twitter URL, Facebook, Google, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn. But of course, a lot of the critical information about the website is missing. Any leads also has a directory of businesses. But of course, these aren't fresh leads and it's a bit difficult to use. For example, you have to select each option one by one, download the report, and then import the domains from those reports over here to retrieve the contacts. First, let's see how many businesses it contains in these directories. So we can see that there's 976 additional restaurants in Toronto in their business directory. Let me show you how it works. So first, you prepare the download. Here's the sample report. Next, we need to copy these domains and we need to import them. We can only import 1000 domains at a time. We can see the query took another three minutes roughly. We'll now download the contacts. So here's the report of contacts. As you can see, they've gathered the contact name, email address, their location, their LinkedIn profile, and several other points of data about the business. But as you can see, a lot of the leads are still irrelevant. Even though I'm searching for restaurants in Toronto, it's providing me with 
contacts in higher education. This, of course, isn't relevant to restaurants in Toronto. Regardless, let's give them the benefit of doubt and remove duplicate data to see for how many of the 557 restaurants in Toronto with between 1 to 10 employees, it has at least one email address. So we can see there's 157 email addresses from the 557 leads that it has. We'll add the 157 email addresses and repeat the process for all employee accounts one by one to get an idea of the total businesses for which it has an email address. As you can imagine, this process of getting the email addresses for all local businesses is unnecessarily tedious and slow. So we'll fast forward the video. We can see a repeat of the totally irrelevant email addresses from a Singaporean university. These are certainly not a restaurant in Toronto. In total, we can see that Englitz has email addresses for 340 of the 976 restaurants in Toronto within its database. From its B2B company search, we had emails for another 130 businesses, although a lot of the email addresses were either invalid or totally irrelevant to our query. And Englitz has other features as well. For example, you can find domains from company names. I'm not quite sure why a separate tool will be needed for this since a simple Google search for any company name will get you its domain. It has an extension so you can browse LinkedIn profiles and get their emails, a tool to automate visits to LinkedIn profiles and submit connection requests, find contacts from specific website domains, and a tool to create keyboard shortcut messages. A tool where you can enter a list of domains and it extracts their emails. A CRM to automate and manage your outreach. A dump of newly registered domains. A chatbot to capture leads from your website. A tool to find emails from individuals and company names. A widget for your website to show social notifications. A website widget to tell your visitors to leave your reviews. And lastly, a tool that tells you whether or not an email address is a disposable one. All in all, while AnyLeads has a large breadth of tools, it severely falls short. As shown, it doesn't provide a lot of business leads. And even the ones it does provide have either totally invalid email addresses or the businesses themselves are irrelevant to the query. With that, we conclude our review of any leads and its white label derivatives, such as IC leads. Now, let's take a look at LeadSwift. LeadSwift is the most powerful local B2B lead generation platform. Beyond capturing basic information about businesses worldwide, such as websites, social profiles, and reviews, it also captures the email addresses and even those of specific people working there. 
As we will see, lead source proprietary technology means it gets more businesses and email addresses than anything out there. It also scans the business's websites for deficiencies or custom HTML, allowing you to target those that desperately need your product. LeadSwift then lets you send personalized emails to these leads in bulk, and even schedule follow-ups based on custom triggers. Let's try a search. We'll search for restaurants in Toronto. We can search for text or HTML in specific websites, such as powered by XYZ agency, but this won't be necessary for our purposes. That's it. We'll get an email notification once it completes. The search is complete. As we can see, it took roughly an hour. Processing time depends on whether a similar query has been run before, so it can be a lot faster or slower. It shouldn't matter though, since you receive an email notification when the search completes. So there's no need to wait around. The best part is, if someone performs the same query later and LeadSwift gets more matching businesses, it'll notify you. You can even rerun the same query multiple times to get more businesses. If your email provider is daily send limits, you can specify it here. You can also limit the number of emails to contact for any given business. LeadSwift has a built-in exclude list for invalid emails, so you won't have invalid email addresses like other platforms. As well, you can and should specify your own SMTP details so that any communication sent is from your own email address. You can create simple email templates or set up extensive email sequences based on optional triggers. Here, we've created a contact sequence for businesses that don't have a website. You can use dynamic tokens to send highly personalized emails in bulk. For example, LeadSwift would replace this business name token with the business's actual name when sending out emails. In the contact sequence, we can also schedule follow-ups. For example, if the person opens the email but doesn't respond. Let's go back to our search results. In terms of the number of leads, we can see that LeadSwift captured a massive 3,813 restaurants in Toronto. Some of these might be similar listings, which the detailed report will merge. LeadSwift has far too many data points about every business to list individually in this video. If you want to review it more thoroughly, just pause this video right now. The main ones are already pre-selected, so let's stick to those. One thing that totally sets LeadSwift apart from everything else is the fact that it captures not only the business's email address, but also those of its employees, as well as their names, job titles, and even social profiles. It captures the business's ratings, social metrics, website deficiencies, whether they're advertising anywhere, social profiles, directory listings such as on TripAdvisor, and a lot more. If you're an agency, you can run an audit on any website to include in your outreach campaign. LeadSwift also has a ton of filters. For example, you can filter by businesses that don't have a website, those that have SEO issues, those that don't have a particular social profile, those that aren't running paid ads, and even those that have poor ratings. With the click of a button, we can then contact these businesses using the contact sequence we previously created. Let's export the results. After removing the duplicates, we can confirm 3,805 unique businesses were found. We deduct one to account for the title row. Emails were captured for a massive 1,981 businesses, after again deducting one for the title row. It's also important to note that these are not the total number of emails, since there are hundreds of employee email addresses for some individual businesses. To emphasize, 
we have at least one email address for massive 1,981 businesses. You can see that all of these email addresses are valid. Our exclude settings would have already eliminated invalid email addresses. For the 1,981 businesses where we have emails, let's also see how many total email contacts were captured. So, as we can see, over 62,000 emails were captured. This is just a colossal, colossal amount of leads. It's more than absolutely any other tool. Most likely, it's more than all the other tools in the market combined. As you can see, there's nothing that comes close to LeadSwift in terms of the breadth of features, the number of businesses it captures, and most importantly, the number of contacts it captures for those businesses. Just imagine trying to get all of these data points for nearly 4,000 businesses manually. Now imagine also trying to get the contact information for these businesses one by one, searching their websites, social profiles, search engines, LinkedIn profiles, and more. It's a monumental task that would take you months, if not years. With LeadSwift, you can do it in a few minutes with more efficiency. While LeadSwift might be more expensive and slower to process the queries than what's out there, it just isn't worth potentially missing a sale with an inferior product that doesn't capture every possible lead. Every single lead missed by other tools is a potential sale that could have made you hundreds, thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thank you for watching.